everybody, I'm the Wolfman, and I want to thank you so much for tuning into this video here at Barefoot Bushcraft. Today, we are going to talk about an easy way to waterproof a set of leather boots. Uh, so there's all kinds of different products available on the market today to waterproof your boots, including uh, silicon-based products that you spray on. There are pastes. There are all kinds of different potions and lotions. Uh, but we're going to talk today about the most simplest and easiest way to waterproof a set of boots, and that, of course, is using beeswax which has been used for hundreds of years to waterproof everything from wood to leather to canvas and everything in between so before we begin we are going to start by needing a pair of boots so we have a pair of boots here that we want to water resist we have a heat gun now this heat gun of course is going to allow us to heat up the leather you don't have to use a heat gun you could use a hair dryer you could even go ahead and put your uh, boots in the oven as long as you hold on to them first and then of course we have our wax just regular beeswax uh, available at any shop uh, usually health food stores or something like that will have beeswax in them uh, so we're going to heat the beeswax up and then we are going to put the beeswax and kind of smear it on like a deodorant on the outside of the boot and basically that's that um, so we're going to put it on make it look nice and pretty so let's get started so first thing we're going to do here is take our heat gun. We're going to take the heat gun and we're going to, we've got our beeswax in our hand here. Um, we're just going to ensure that we do the bottom of the boot at first uh, just to get it sort of all started and ready. We're going to turn on our heat gun. Um, and again, you don't have to use this. You can use any kind of method that you want to, to heat up the wax, including holding the boot in the oven at first. Uh, I guess and then you can use a hairdryer or of course uh, the proper tool is the heat gun you don't want to heat the leather up too much take your beeswax basically going to smear it on right there just like that and then it's going to soak it in so we're going to turn on the heat gun here and we're going to get started with the process so the first thing you'll notice uh, just like I said turn it on you've got a lot of heat we're going to heat up the leather uh, you don't want to cook the leather or burn it you just want to sort of heat it up and you'll feel it hot to the touch take your wax and then you're just going to smear it on and you'll see right away it's going to heat up and it's going to bind into the leather it will kind of go invisible at first as the leather soaks it in and you'll need multiple multiple coats on it and you're just going to kind of move it back and forth as uh, as you slide it on uh, you heat it up and then it's going to bind itself into the leather and away we go again so you're just going to heat up the leather take your wax rub it on like i said like a deodorant stick on your underarm back and forth and heat it up you'll see eventually it uh, starts to sink in it is going to discolor the leather of course but there's no product that you can use that won't discolor the leather so we will just uh, keep going here heating up the leather moving the wax on it and uh, making it kind of stick to the surface of the leather and create that beautiful water resistant finish Pretty simple process to put that on as you could see boot looks pretty good uh, slightly different color but I mean again that's expected uh, but the process looks like it was successful compared to the other boot here so next thing we're gonna do is give this a try uh, and put some water on it just to see how the water works obviously if the process worked well there should be some water resistance here uh, this boot, though, you can see the wax on it. It looks fairly dry. It looks fairly good. Uh, you can see the kind of a semi-gloss finish on the boot. I only did the lower half, like I said, just to make things easier for, for this video and to save time. Uh, so we're going to put them together here, take a jug of water. Basically, the first thing we're going to do is pick it up, toss some water on it, see what happens. So uh, there we go. We'll just pour some water on it there indiscriminately because it really doesn't matter. They're going to get lots of water on them in the cold weather 
And uh, you can see right away that the boot on the right, or the boot that we treated, already, look at the beading on there. Beautiful. Just beads right off. No evidence of the water collecting on it. The other one, um, water pooling a little, but that's okay. And you can see it's darkening the leather. The water is soaking in on this boot uh, compared to the other side that we treated with the wax. So you can see that right there. So definitely successful. It worked out really, really well. You can see there's uh, no water on the wax there. And it just sort of pulled it right off. So it was very successful, very easy, very convenient system to work on. Uh, it didn't require much to do this other than, of course, just grab yourself a block of wax from your local shop, uh, health food store, anything like that. Heat the wax up, put the wax on the leather, and uh, basically there's nothing to it. Worked out really well. You can see it's malleable, which means it's plasticky. Works um, not going to hurt your leather at all. Right, you can see that on there. Beaded the water right off the wax. Very, very happy with that result. So thanks very much for watching this video. I'm the Wolfman for Barefoot Bushcrafts. Please consider subscribing. <laughs>